Hello again, we're in the final two shelves in this um, big bookcase right here. We've made our way all the way down. Um, now I can actually sit on the floor, so that's good. Um, before I start this row, I just want to show this title that I got recently, Safety Last, which is an amazing Harold Lloyd film. One of my favorite silent films of all time. It's just so good. Uh, anytime I watch it, I can just watch, sit down and watch this like without even losing my attention. This is such a great Criterion release. I just rewatched it recently. I was supposed to file it away in the shelf, but I just forgot to. So I just want to show that. And now we can start with the Funkos. This is Becca from Pitch Perfect. Kelly Kapowski from Saved by the Bell, which is one of my favorite shows. Um, and a Riverdale Funko. Um, Cheryl, Bo Cheryl Blossom, yeah. And, okay. So those are the Funkos. Let's get rid of those. And then start with the uh, Rocky Collection, the Heavyweight Collection. This has one through six. Um, great great um collection there's not much that needs to be said about that five is probably the weakest but i think six does a good job of bringing the series back i'm a huge beatles fan so i've got uh eight days a week which is a ron howard documentary um about the beatles and their touring years and then how they stopped touring and it has a lot of excerpts from the shea stadium concert which is like legendary i love the beatles so i'll have a few of their stuff here Here's another one by them. Um, Hard Day's Night Criterion release. Um, kind of like a box set. Um, great album. Great uh, film. I think they were great in the films that they were in. Um, and this one's pretty funny by Richard Lester. Um, yeah, I love the Beatles. If there's a be like a good Beatles release, I will get it. Halloween, the complete collection. This has the entire Halloween series and the two Rob Zombie films. Um, I love Halloween. I love Michael Myers. I love horror films. Um, the first one's obviously the best. Uh, the Rob Zombie films aren't that bad. Actually, the first Rob Zombie film is good. The second one is pretty bad. Um, and then the sequels along the way are pretty, you know, hit or miss, but entertaining. I even like Season of the Witch. It was like a different thing. Harry Potter collection. The complete eight film collection. Um, which one is my favorite? Goblet of Fire, probably. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I think that's the best book and the best movie as well. Um, but all movies, all of the movies are standard good. Um... The last one I thought was the worst one, but um, you know, it's a good series, great books. I don't like the um, what's it called, Fantastic Beast series. I feel like those are just not as good, nowhere near as good. Complete Twilight Zone series, um, big fan of Twilight Zone, the entire original series. I've seen this all I think last year, um, all episodes, so good. I like the 1980s revival as well, and the Jordan Peele revival that's going on right now i'm a big fan of twilight zone box sets out of the way let's get to uh, the regular blu-rays so start with the favorite which is a really good um film from last year last year or the year before i'm not even sure anymore um emma stone's fantastic in it and olivia coleman is just amazing in this i first saw her in Broadchurch, um but she's so great in this film Ferris Wheeler's uh, Day Off, really good film about a kid that cuts class for a day. Um, is this John Hughes? Uh, I really don't know. Probably is. But um, yeah, it is. Okay. So, great film. Really good steel book I've got here of The Fifth Element, which is a... Is this an Alex Proyas film? No. Or is it Luke Besson? I don't. I've. I honestly can't remember who the director is. But Fifth Element is a good sci-fi film. I like it. Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, why do I own these? I don't know. I like. Oh yeah, because I like Dakota Johnson. Um, first one was pretty crap. Um, second one is the best one, but still pretty bad. Um, but you know. And then by the third one, third one was the worst. This film was just atrocious plot if it even has a plot this is just a terrible film um but i had to complete it good thing they're done right fight club um this has been released many times but um i think this steel book right here is like one of the better releases so i had to get it um not my favorite from david fincher i know a lot of people love it i love i like it too but it's not my favorite from him that is a collector must have of course fighting with my family 
a film about um, the wrestler, WWE wrestler Paige, um, which was written and directed by Stephen Merchant. Um, saw this at a screening, and I thought it was really funny. I used to watch wrestling, so um, it felt kind of like accurate, and it also has a rock in it. And then Stephen Merchant actually came to the screening afterwards to speak about the film, which was pretty cool. I think that's a good part about living in New York. Get the stars coming out. The Final Girls, one of the best um, self-aware horror film. It, it knows about the horror tropes, and it's like a comedy based on that, but it's done so well. This is such a great film. It's like a 9 out of 10 for me. Love this film. Flesh and Bone, which was a Starz miniseries, which I really enjoyed, um, about... Uh, what was it, Ballet? Yeah, ba um, like a ballet film and like kind of like the underworld of it, which is like kind of seedy and dark. So it's a, that's a great miniseries, though. Uh, a great film by Sean Baker, a Florida Project. Uh, really well acted by its stars and William Dafoe is just... William Dafoe is just one of the highlights of that film. The Fly. Uh, this kind of looks like the Carrie Steele book I had earlier with the artwork. Um, really good Jeff Go Goldblum, David Cronenberg film. Um, I like the original one as well. I don't have that one on Blu-ray. Ford v Ferrari. Um, really great James Mangold film uh, with superior car chase, car racing scenes. Um, this looks amazing in IMAX if you, or like Dolby Cinema if you can watch it in that. It's such a good film. Um, really great performances as well. Really interesting story. It is a long film as well. Francis Ha, a Noah Baumbach picture um, with Greta Gerwig. Great Criterion release. Um, I think Greta Gerwig's fantastic in it. I think she's just a highlight of film with filmmaking and starring in it as well. Here's um, classic Frankenstein with Boris Karlov. Um, this is supposed to glow in the dark, but I think I tried it and it doesn't glow in the dark. But um, I wanted to have one of these glow in the dark uh, releases, so I got that one. I think Walmart was doing those. The original um, Friday with Ice Cube and Chris Tucker, one of the best um, chill out type films. Uh, and then I think they have the rest on Blu ray. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but um, this is the only one I need. I showed you the Friday the 13th uh, collection earlier, and then this is kind of the other pieces that are missing. So it's Friday the 13th remake, the 2009 version, which I thought was pretty good. Nightmare on Elm Street remake, which is terrible. Um, unfortunately, I don't like that one that much. Um, but Rooney Mara was in it, so and I like her. So, and Freddy vs Jason, um, which is it's okay. It's not that great, but it's okay. From Dust Till Dawn, um, I watched the series recently, and I really like the series. Um, but the film is pretty good as well. It's a classic, uh, Robert Rodriguez. Um, Frost Nixon, a really tense kind of like political talk show film with um, what's his name, Frank Frank Lang Langella and Michael Sheen. Really good film. Um, I think this is a Ron Howard film as well, and it's a really one of his highlight films. The Fun House. Um, this is a Scream Factory release. Um, this is a pretty good film. Uh, I like that one. It's like a nice 80s horror film. Uh, this is definitely the worst looking steelbook that I have. Um, Fury. I know this has better copies of a steelbook, but um, I just wanted it on steelbook. This is a really good film, though. Um, Brad Pitt, war film. Also has Shia LaBeouf. This is a really good film. A uh, really good Criterion film of The Game, which is a Michael Douglas, David Fincher directed film. Really like it. Uh, I had no problems with the twist ending and stuff. Game Night, uh, one of the best comedies of the year it came out. This is just infinitely funny film. Well acted. Jason Bateman is great in it. Such a good film. Extremely rewatchable that one. Gangs of New York. Um, really good Martin Scorsese um, film here which is well acted by The Butcher, um, Daniel Day-Lewis and Leonardo DiCaprio. Cameron Diaz was probably the weak point in it but you know I didn't mind. I like this film. Really good um, sci-fi film that I think deserves more love, Gattaca. 
with Ethan Hawke and Jude Law. Um, it's a really well-made science fiction film um, that not a lot of people talk about. Here's one everyone talks about, Get Out, which is great. Um, I'm a big fan of Key and Peele. I watched the show. I really like the show. Um, and I think Jordan Peele showed that he has an like, inclination for horror. And he did a good job with this one. It's a good film. Um, Ghost in the Shell. Um, I really like this film. This is the remake. I have the original um, animated film as well. That's going to be shown later. Ghost in the Shell remake. Um, live action remake with Scarlett Johansson I like this film enough um, it's pretty good nice steel book as well a ghost story as mentioned earlier this is a David Lowry Casey Affleck and Rooney Mara film this is an amazing film I urge you to watch it it's like such an emotional s circular journey this is a really good film uh, Ghostbusters 1 and 2 um, I love both. I like two more than one. I know that's like the most unpopular opinion ever, but I love two. Um, it's a childhood film. These are both childhood films. This is a nice digi book. Um, glad to own that one. Another criterion of a Rita Hayworth classic, Gilda. I know there's a box set of hers coming out soon. Um, I don't know if Gilda is in that, probably not, but um, I want to get her other films, so I'll probably get that box set. The Girl Next Door um, with Alicia Cuth Cuthbert. This is a pretty good film. Um, one that I come, kind of forget that I have in my collection, but it's a really good film. And then the Jack Cat Jack Ketchum's The Girl Next Door. This is inspired by true events. This is a disturbing tale of abuse. Um, you can read up on it. The film does a good job of portraying it. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. As I mentioned, Rooney Mara is one of my favorite actresses ever. I think this is a wonderful remake of the girl with the dragon tattoo Swedish version and I like it better because David Fincher really knew what he was doing with this and I'm so upset we didn't get a sequel with David Fincher and Rooney Mara I know we got one with um, Claire Foy I think and it w that one was not good I don't, I don't even own that one because I don't like that film The Girlfriend Experience um, based on the Steven Soderbergh film uh, this was with, this one's with Riley Keough this is so such a good series um, Stars had some really good series and for some reason I have them <laughs> on Blu-ray. I have a few of them on Blu-ray because I really like their I really like some of their work. No hate on this film because this film is amazing. This is so so bad it's good. Territory, Gerard Butler overreacting, uh plenty of CGI, plenty of action. It's such a good film. I love this film. And it also has Chadwick Boseman as well in it. In a small role. Godfather Trilogy, um, this is the Coppola Restoration. I've not opened this set yet. I mean, I've not watched this set yet, but I've seen all three films. I've seen two in one sitting on TV and it was like eight hours long and my butt hurt afterwards, but it was a, well worth it. Those films are great. Three is, three is pretty good. It just pales in comparison to the quality of one and two. Godzilla, um, I had no issues with this film at all. I think they did a good job even though there was little Godzilla in it I think it was a well made and the American Godzilla film that we needed and then the sequel which a lot of people don't like um, I think this is such a nice steel book as well um, I, I like this film a lot it gave us more monster battles but people didn't like that I, I don't know like they wanted more monster battles and then they give it and then people don't like it I don't know I think it was good which one is better um I don't know. I think they both are pretty similar in quality. Gone. These David Fincher Blu-rays are like upside wrong way. Gone Girl, a uh, really great film. Comes with the Amazing Amy book. Um, good David Fincher film. Rosamund Pike is just the highlight of that one. She's crazy in that one. But really good film. Gone in 60 Seconds remake. Um, I rewatched this the other day and didn't like it as much as I did when I was younger. But um, pretty good film. I've never seen the original. The Graduate, a classic um, young Dustin Hoffman film with a good soundtrack from Simon and Garfunkel. This is a classic. I know they released it on Criterion, but um, I'm fine with, with the copy I have. Gran Torino, another classic Clint Eastwood um, film. Well made film by him in his older years. I like that one a lot. 
One of my um, favorite films of all time is actually Gravity. Um, I, I I really love this film. When I saw it in theaters, it really spoke to me. I think um, there's like so much emotion packed into this film, and I can watch it anytime, and I love it. And I love the soundtrack as well. I even bought the soundtrack because it was so good. I know a lot of people don't like this film, but the space lover in me just loves this film. Like I adore this film. It's like a 10 out of 10 for me. Sometimes I'm going to mention films that I give a 10 out of 10 to, and that's one of them. Grease, the 40th anniversary, um, yearbook edition. Yeah, um, I love Grease. Um, it's a good musical. I have the steel book with um, Grease 2 and Grease Live. That's going to be shown at the end because it's a recent pickup that I'm just going to rewatch before reshelving. But that's a nice um, yearbook release. Another film I will give a 10 out of 10 to is The Great Gatsby. Um, I love the book. It's actually my favorite book of all time, and I think I have it sitting around nearby somewhere. Uh, yeah, I, I can't find it right now, but um, I like this film. I think um, who is the director of this film? I'm blank. Baz Luhrmann um, did a really good job with um, this film, even though like the soundtrack is kind of more modern than its time. But I love The Great Gatsby. I think Leonardo DiCaprio is great in it. I love this love story in Gatsby. This is so good. A really good um, Wes Anderson film, Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, this was really released in Criterion, I'm sure, but um, I already had this copy, so I wasn't going to upgrade. But Wes Anderson hardly ever does wrong. Greta, which is a really good psycho stalker type film with Chloe Grace Moretz and Isabel Hubert. This is really good. I really like um, Mike, Micah Monroe um, in this film. I think she's very attractive. Um, Green Inferno, which is a Screen Factory Eli Roth film. Not a bad film. Um, pretty violent. Eli Roth is kind of hit or miss, but I do have a lot of his stuff. Um, the Grey, to me, is like one of the most profound viewing experiences, um, especially like the end. I feel like it has so much to say about human nature and loss, struggle. And then, like, fight for survival. There's, like, so much going on in this film. Um, so, so much internal stuff. This is an amazing film. Um, I rate it very highly. I know it just seems like a Liam Neeson action film. But there's so much more to this, I promise. One of my... I'm gonna, here's another 10 out of 10. The Grindhouse um, double feature. Which is um, Planet Terror and Death Proof. Planet Terror is by Robert Rodriguez. And I love that film. I think Rose McGowan is spectacular in that film. And then... Death Proof, which is also absolutely fantastic. Um, what's his name? Quentin Tarantino film. I know a lot of people have problems with his heavy dialogue films. I think Death Proof is amazing. Um, it's so amazing that I have two copies, and I'm going to keep two copies. I just want to show, see what the cover looks like. Yeah, it's like one of those... Um... Oh boy, it's going to take forever. Yeah, kind of like a theater grindhouse. And then the Steelbook came out. And I got the steelbook. And those are the reason why I got the steelbook is because, um, first of all, look at the steelbook. It's amazing looking. Wow. Um, but it, it combines those grindhouse trailers into like one un one unanimous feature. So it's like you go through it and watch it exactly how you did in theaters. Whereas this one, I think, may or may not have the trailers, but it doesn't like play, play through like that. That's kind of why I'm keeping both. I don't know. I, I like that film enough to own it twice, so I don't really care. Groundhog's Day. Um, Groundhog Day. Really good Bill Murray film. Um, this concept has been done a few times, like with Happy Death Day, um, which I also have. Um, but yeah, this was the one that kind of started it all. Bill Murray's classic. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Pretty good film. I don't love it as much as everyone does, but um, it was funny on first watch. And then Volume 2, which is uh, not as good in quality. Um, nice slipcover, though. Um, but, you know, being the Marvel completionist that I am today, you had to pick it up. So, The Guest, a really good um, Dan Stevens-led film. And it also has Michael Monroe, who I love. Um, this is this kind of breaks down in a weird way in the end, but overall, it's a pretty good thriller. Hangover 1 and 2. I like the first one, um, and I like the second one enough. They're pretty funny. Third one, I don't even want to own because I hate that film. But um, those two, those two are not bad. Todd Phillips, the director of The Joker, did that. And uh, another edition of Halloween, which is like a digi book. Um, 
I have the box set already, but I already had this um, standout version, so I just kept it. Sometimes I buy things and then I already have it. So we're gonna stop this video here and then do the last one on the shelf for today. And then I have another full shelf and another box to come. So there's gonna be a few parts. Thank you for watching, we will continue.